my name is Juno Sims, and I'm going to be playing the Setfield 7 Toddler Challenge. This will be episode 2. And I am, if you guys saw the last part, which was just the introduction of the rules, who the Sims are in that house, I'm just beginning exactly where I left off from that one. Right now, the current goal is to get the babies up to the second floor in the kid room. Alright, so in this episode, I'm just going to try to survive. Oh no, there's a blockage. Okay. Everybody. Oh, they're talking to each other. That's cute. But get upstairs. No, oh, Isaiah. He's got the communication skill, which um, teaches toddlers more advanced socials. Improve it by talking to others. That's a pretty easy one, I feel like. And I uh, did not mention this last time. But um, a personal goal that I have in this is I want each of the toddlers to get all of their skills up to level three. The reason why is um, you get an extra like personality thing. Oh, there's a thinking skill. Anyway, um, you get an extra personality for all of your sims um, called Happy Toddler, which I think helps um, them improve skills when they're older. And I, I mean, not that this isn't already a challenge, but, you know, I kind of just want it to be more challenging. Kind of sadist, I guess. Um, so the thinking skill. Thinking skill helps toddlers throw fewer tantrums and be more capable of taking care of themselves. It reduces defiance and helps so to solve needs. Thinking skill can be improved by being curious or playing with flashcards, messing blocks with a tablet. Maybe they can't get up the stairs yet. They're all blocked by the door. Okay. Okay, Mama. Time for you to do something. Pick up Naomi. Pick her up. Upstairs. Oh, yay. They're all gaining stuff, and I'm not even doing anything. Okay. Put her down there. Can you go upstairs? Go. Where are you going? Oh, uh, so sad. Okay, that's really gonna take forever. Well, you know, I can hang out. Oh no, are you sad? I feel like Caleb is gonna be kind of annoying because he's clingy, so he's never gonna want his mom away from him. Okay, did she do it? Yes, okay, I'm gonna get Naomi to go do something so she doesn't cause issues. Locked door. Four. Everyone but Catherine. I think she could probably carry people across so I don't have to worry about Naomi um, going downstairs. All right, go pick you up. Uh, and I know that uh, Wild Sims, they prefer to be outside. Let me see. So yeah, the Wild Toddlers, they're spirited, full of energy. And they love to explore, get energized, they earn movement skills slightly faster, and they'll be sad if they haven't been outside in a while. So I will probably have her wander around for a little bit. Oh my gosh, she can take her clothes off. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that before. I haven't had, I have not been brave enough to have a wild sim. Oh, there's a welcome wagon. I kind of hate welcome wagons because your neighbors hate you when you, are you putting them down? No, don't put them down. Go away. But yeah, your neighbor neighbors will hate you if you decide to cancel. Fun fact, your neighbors hate you. Did she put him down? Oh no, pick him up. Pick him up. Trust me. Pick him up. Pick him up. I feel like this entire part, I'm just going to be picking up toddlers and putting them down. Yeah. See, I'm just... Let's unlock it, just in case. Put Noah down there. Where's Hannah? Oh, she's right in the backyard. Oh, she's so cute. 
Yeah, you're not wanted. Yeah, see when you cancel the welcome wagon? Guess we're not wanted here. No, you're not. Sorry. Okay. Um, let's go grab Caleb. I have no idea if anyone will actually watch this. But if you do watch it, and if you know the theme of all the babies' names, you get a gold star. Yeah, go you. Whenever I play The Sims, they almost always have, like, a theme to their name. Like, um, I'm doing a... I'm doing a legacy challenge on my own time, and, um, no, sorry, I pause way too much. I'm doing a legacy on my own time, and each of the generations, they always have a um, theme to their name. Like, one theme was cars, so the kids were Chevy and Sienna. Oh, he looks so sad. Like, why are you leaving me? <laughs> okay, Isaiah, you'll be next, don't worry. Oh, she's so excited. Looks very lost. Where's Miriam? Oh, he looks so sad, just like standing around. And upstairs. Put Isaiah down there. Oh no, Miriam is mad. Oh, she's not having any fun. Well, play with your sister. Travel. Will that be fun? <coughs> Not really. Rep. He's having fun with the tablet. Ooh, he's getting hungry. Go play with the dolls. What are you doing? Oh, well, you're in your room. How sweet. Actually, I'm gonna... Oh, no, I can't claim beds. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, no. Did you put down your room? Why? I even... Don't put her down. Yes. Okay. Not putting her down quite yet. Can you go up the stairs? Oh, she's sad. Judith is just a helpless toddler. Caregivers and other sons in the household will need to be there to take care of her. Aw. It's kind of sad. Go pick her up. Pick her up. Yes, you're beautiful, Catherine. Now pick up your toddler. Good girl. Oh, uh, doke. Put her down. Where is Hannah? Did you did you do it again? Oh, my goodness. Come on, Catherine. Yeah, all I'm gonna be doing this part is moving toddlers. <laughs> oh, I think I made a mistake when I Decided to put them all on the second floor. <laughs> oh, but they're so cute, my goodness. Oh, and they're all starting to get problems. Okay. Pick up you. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, let's get it. I'm gonna see if Hannah will go upstairs by herself. Maybe she'll do a better job than her sister. Her sisters and brothers, because she's been moving around a bit more. Can you do it? Nope. Okay, don't set her down. Don't set her down. Don't put her down. Did you put her down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, come back. Pick her up. Okay. Whew. 
Okay. I think we have one more child to go. Oh, they're all sad. Oh. Miriam! You just destroyed the house! Dude, what's your problem? Okay, he's having a good time on the tablet. Maybe you will have a good time on the tablet. Go watch something. Okay, where's Hannah? Go pick up Hannah. Catherine is going to have a really, really bad time. I kind of foresee that. Okay. Hand it down here. Then what I think I'm going to do next is get Catherine to make some food because they're all starting to be pretty hungry. And then I feel like I'm going to be changing a lot of diapers. A lot, a lot of diapers. Come on, put her down. No, no. What the heck did you do? Okay, Anna, you're going to have to move yourself. Go right, go there. More of that. My goodness, what are you doing, Catherine? Okay, now I'm going to lock door for everyone but her. And have some mommy time. Go to the bathroom. Use. And make some mac and cheese for everybody. Oops. Hopefully she doesn't burn the house down first thing. Normally I have my Sims start off with um, the garden salad. But seriously, how depressing would it be to just serve your kids salad? can tell I do not like salad. <laughs> oh, he's not having fun. Go play with the doll. Go play. Hug. And stack that. Oh, yeah, they're all hungry. Oh, and they have to go. Okay, go do something fun. You have a unicorn in your room. Go play. Talk to the unicorn. Jeez. Sad. No. Go babble. I'll make you feel better. Me and Hannah. Hannah's just hungry. Have her play at the dollhouse, but someone ruined it, Miriam. Yeah. Yeah, you, you ruined it. Uh, I think there might be a doll in her room. Go, go talk to it. She's almost done cooking. Don't burn down the house. Don't burn down the house. I always find it weird. My oh wow. One second here. I've never used a slot before. It's so pretty. Oh, I like it. Okay. Um, I was thinking it's funny though. They're where it is in the house. They will always put the food in the teapot. Kind of weird. Okay. Let's put that. Ooh, no. In there. You can go, let's go sit and eat that here. And get all the kids to have a serving. You get one. Oh, they're all so sad. Oh no, I'm feeding them, I swear. I'm feeding them. Okay, stop playing because you're starving to death. 
He's eating. That was my timer. All right, I think I am going to end it here with everyone trying to not be taken away. I don't think I mentioned this last time, but you can actually, so the how you fail the toddler challenge is by having your toddlers be taken away or your sim dying. So I would like my sims to not be taken away in the second episode and the first episode where I'm playing. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really hope you're enjoying it. Um, especially since this is, you know, just me starting off. So I apologize if I'm doing absolutely terrible here, but I'm having fun. Hopefully you're having fun. Hope you have a good night. Um, and again, thanks. Comment, like, like subscribe, all that stuff. Bye-bye.